This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Dr. Tamia Austin. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am doing well. I'm really excited to talk with you. It's a great pleasure to connect with you as well. Uh, What part of the world are you in right now? I am in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, the metro Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a little south of Atlanta in Jonesboro, to be exact. All right, all right. Jonesboro sounds great. Uh, I visited there before. Not that my name is Jones and I'm joking. I was actually there. (laughs) It's a good pleasure. Again, tell us, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at a specific time in history? Well, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with my passion for sickle cell trait education. Hmm. Yeah, tell us the story behind that, please. Sure. Well, uh, actually, March 1st was my ninth anniversary with the Darling uh, the Fa- Darling Family Foundation called the As One Foundation. I uh, started working with them March 1st of 2010 after learning of two twin brothers by the name of Devon and Devar Darling, who were born in Nassau, uh, they were not expected as twins. Uh, the entire birth, their, the parents and the doctors had been hearing two hearts beating as one. Hmm. These boys would grow up uh, and in a family that eventually would have to submit to divorce, and the mother with her five children would move to Houston, Texas, I believe the twin boys at the time were 11 and they would excel in academics and athletics and ultimately uh, decide that they wanted to play the American game of football, which is not played organized in, in Nassau and were recruited nationally and ultimately chose Florida state university uh, that offered them the opportunity to not only play as true freshmen, but to also play together. So at the beginning of their freshman year, as per the National Collegiate Athletic Association mandate, they were tested for sickle cell trait. They were advised to not mate with other people with sickle cell trait uh, to avoid the 25% chance or one in four chance of birthing a child with sickle cell disease. And they were sent on their way. Hmm. Um, that, that was the only thing standing between them and the field. And they had a very successful freshman year. They played as true freshmen, uh, only lost two games that year, including the national championship. So that fall was a big year for them. And they would come back uh, around February, actually this time, just a little about a week ago this, uh, this time, and be going through mat drills, which are off season workouts that ultimately ended up with Devon. Uh, dying from exertional sickling, what we believe is a 100% preventable death uh, that happened because they he was not properly hydrated, he was not allowed breaks, and he was not allowed to warm up. Hmm. This exertional sickling death is the top killer of collegiate athletes, and only if people would allow athletes to warm up, be hydrated, and to take breaks. We are not talking about hundreds of deaths of athletes. So the, the mission of the As One Foundation is to educate and increase awareness about sickle cell trait. And that's what I do. That is my life passion. It is what moved me to even go back to school and earn my PhD and conduct a dissertation on sickle cell trait literacy amongst coaches and athletes and parents and trainers. So this is imprint that I intend to leave on the world. We want to eradicate these 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 types of deaths and and certainly make people aware that it's not a skin color thing, it's a bloodline thing. Sickle cell disease and trait affects people of African, Indian, Latin, Asian, Italian, Irish, Greek and Turkish descent. It is a myth that it only affects African Americans and that's what I am. I, I certainly believe is 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 my passion and talent. Hmm. Where did you get this level of commitment from? Is there someone in your family that's committed on this level? Because it seems as though it is 
an exponential uh, type of commitment, I would say. Um, I had no idea of any of this prior to 2010. I had heard of the Darling Twin story, uh, having been educated in Florida at Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, FAMU for short, which is in the same city as Florida State. Uh, my husband is a former football player, so I had known about the Darling story from an athletic perspective, but it really was not until I actually met DeVard, the living twin, and he was in the NFL at the time, and you know, just his story, the fact that his identical twin was very much so like him and I, I just was drawn and, and the, the fact that I do love sports I, I do love my brown people I love all people but I do love my brown people and while it does affect a lot of uh, ethnicities uh, people of African descent are affected disproportionately and it, it just <laughs> you know in my 40s it literally or you know, gave me passion. It, it, you know, that thing that wakes me up at night, that thing that I would do for free, I'd never experienced anything that was just so riveting to me. Um, and it was after meeting Devon and, and really hearing him share his story and his desire that his twin would still be here, but also not allowing his death to be in vain. So that's been our work ever mm. since. For someone that's listening, where's the best place for them to connect with you? They can connect with me via the asonefoundation.org website. Um, I am on all social media platforms as Dr. Tamia Austin. Um, and uh, that that's pretty much it. Asonefoundation.org is the website. Our social media is As One Foundation, all spelled out. And my social media is Dr. D-R-T-O-M-I-A Austin on all platforms. Thanks for sharing that story. Definitely. I am glad that we've had the opportunity to immortalize uh, your voice on this podcast. I do appreciate you sharing that tremendously. Let's switch gears for a moment now, Dr. Tamiya. Let me invite you now into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Oh. Dr. Tamiya, what's your earliest childhood memory? Oh, my earliest childhood memory? Um, s- singing in church. Mm. <laughs> How old were you in that memory? Um, I'm probably seven. Why do you think this memory is so clear? It's probably something that I did every single day. <laughs> Sing. And I still have lifelong friends from those early church experiences. Hmm. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Um, I love connection. And th- singing in church, um, it, it was something that I did from the stage. So... Uh, I guess, you know, just being on that platform and watching the reactions, of course, people were adoring me. (laughs) Um, So I guess it just brings that back as a feeling that I liked and and always wanting to connect with people and make them happy by doing something that 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 stirred that up in them. Hmm. Was this like solo singing or was it inclusive of uh, what would be? Uh, worship? Um, it was definitely a combination of both. I, I, I did do a bit of solo singing. Um, I was much more comfortable backgrounding. Um, but, uh, oh, everything we did was in worship. Hmm. E- everything we did was in praise and honor. Well, can I offer, sure. Can yeah. I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with that memory? Sure. I love the fact that uh, in worship, it's the opportunity to sing, yes, and definitely be at the forefront, definitely. But I think it's amazing how inclusive it is mm. because your heart then beats as others. And in combination, uh, one goal is set and one goal is made. 
which is to honor God at that time, yeah? And um, I'm amazed by the foundation that you're a part. The name of it is As One, you said, right? And it's like, it's because of the both brothers uh, in the womb, I'm guessing, yeah, that mm-hmm. their hearts beat as one, right? Correct. Right. That's beautiful to see that you are now helping, or even then you were helping people, you know, to just lead through that process that all hearts beat as one, which is very powerful. It's unity, isn't it? Wow. Very, very powerful to hear it articulated in that way. Yes. Hmm, this is powerful. Wow. If we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? Oh, uh, well, again, Anything by BB and CC Winans. <laughs> a twin again. Wow. They're a twin, right? No, they're just brother and sister. Yeah, brother they and are sister. Brother and sister. Yeah. Um, Definitely unification yeah. again. They, they sound like one, right? Like, I mean, you could possibly think they're married, right? The way they yeah. sound, <laughs> sound yeah. like one. That's yeah. pretty cool. Love that tread of two becoming one. That's yeah. wonderful. All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Yes. Dr. Tamuya, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Oh, yes. Are you married? I am. Do you have children? I do not. Do you believe in God? I do. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? I do not. How about three hours a week? Yes. What about screen time, the phone under the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, I hope it's less. Hmm. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Dr. Tamia Austin, what would you say that is? I am human. Hmm. Therefore, it. nothing human is alien to me. Ooh. Could you say that, that is- again, please? I am human, therefore nothing human is alien to me. Hmm. Love it. Dr. Tamiya. Dr. Mayangelo originated that statement, yeah. but I... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. My friend, this has been such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I, I'd just like to say thank you, and I look forward to hopefully meeting you on one of your journeys. Yeah, yeah, it'd definitely be a great pleasure to connect with you as well. Love uh, the heart and again, the commitment. And uh, again, humbly, I thank you for representing us uh, in a way that we didn't even know we needed help for, but definitely we do. So I do thank you for that, Dr. Tamia Austin. Thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Likewise. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.